Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And uh, a press release from SA Rugby has officially clarified um, the events that happened on Saturday where the All Blacks hucker was interrupted um, by um, music, fireworks and a flyover of an Emirates A380, uh, which has caused quite a bit of stir um, and was a bit of a blight on what was otherwise a tremendously cool day in terms of, you know, the celebration of you know, 30 years of democracy, it being shown on SABC, for example. Um, you know, there was a, a tribute to Lake Murray King by the, by the All Blacks, a really cool hucker. Everything was really cool. And, and by all accounts, the atmosphere was absolutely electric. You know, you look at the videos and, and the feedback you get, and uh, apparently the entire occasion was absolutely tremendous. But the one blight was the issue that came with the, the interruption of the hucker. Um, and SRB has released a statement, first of all, apologizing for the incident and also clarifying why it happened. And as usual, there was a very measured and very um, normal reason and, and for me, an acceptable reason, you know, human error at the end of the day on why it happened and very much not deliberate, I think, is the main thing. Now, before you go into the rest, please, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So if you saw it, basically what happened is that there was a whole lot of pre- um, pre-match ritual stuff that, that basically happened. You know, there was um, a shaking of the hands with a whole bunch of foreign dignitaries, for example, for both teams, then the anthems, um, and then there was a prayer for the Maori King Wild New Zealand, um, which happened before the haka. Now, the problem with that is that there was a whole sort of pre-planned schedule, which included the iconic flyover that we see when we play against the All Blacks at Ellis Park. And uh, previously, it has been Flysaf, for example, who had done it. This time, it was Emirates, who uh, flew over with an A380 over the stadium. Now, unfortunately, you know, in terms of the, the timing, basically, the idea was that um, when the All Blacks sort of hucker was going to be finished, um, you know, uh, musical play, and uh, was Sister Patino, which is kind of what we've gotten used to in having this in, in, in that sort of previous four kickoff. Um, it's kind of a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a, 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 a South African uh, ritual now. To, to play it before. And then there was a bunch of fireworks and a whole bunch of sort of, um, you know, different, you know, flamethrowers and pyrotechnics, which were all scheduled for when the flyover would happen. Now, because the flyover, it's kind of predetermined, it's pre-planned down to the final minute. So you would have had a schedule basically of teams out, anthem starting at this time, hucker this time, flyover this time, kickoff. And it would have been really, really sort of set to the minute because you can't obviously just say, all right, cool, we're kind of ready for the flyover and have this plane flying around in circles because, you know, it's airspace and, and that kind of thing gets quite complicated. Um, so it had to be planned very, very carefully and and very, um, and, uh, and, and, and it had to be then executed very accurately. Now, the problem was that um, the, some of the stuff um, ran a bit late. And um, as a result, the flyover ended up happening because of the, um, the into the hucker and because of that, the crowd erupted, and apparently that's why uh, the sound person has started playing the music. So, basically, this is the apology that has been issued by SA Rugby. Um, and uh, SA, and Rian Oberholzer has said the following. He said, I apologized in person and have written to the New Zealand Rugby Football Union to formally express our regret and apologize uh, for what happened. He said, it was never the intention to schedule any activities that would coincide with such an iconic moment of any test match against the All Blacks. That it occurred was a result of timekeeping challenges and simple human error. In the confusion, the crowd's excitement, um, sorry, the side, the side of cheering was mistaken to have marked the conclusion of the hucker by an unsighted sound engineer who restarted the music program. It is highly regrettable, but in no way deliberate. Um, he said that... Uh, SRA was distressed about the breach of protocol and the apparent display of lack of respect it might have suggested. And he said as follows, he said, We hold dear the values and traditions of the game. The unfortunate events in no way represent any lack of respect that South Africa rugby holds for the significance and history of the hucker. We will ensure such errors cannot be repeated. Um, and it won't be repeated on Saturday because first of all, we've got no flyover to worry about. And obviously now you're going to be very, very cautious um, about the... The entire thing. So, you know, there's been a lot of uh, 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 backlash um, and a lot of South Africans and fans were coming up saying they didn't really enjoy the fact, you know, obviously you can't control the crowd. If there's crowd interaction or singing or booing, whatever, that's kind of uncontrollable. But, you know, you can't be having music and pyrotechnics all sort of happening whilst the huck is coming to a close, which kind of ruined a bit of the, the you know, the aura of it. Um, but again, it was a pretty reasonable explanation. You know, the, the flyover was 
you know, pre-planned. The timing was wrong. The crowd saw the plane, went electric. Apparently, sound engineer then took that to know to to mean that the end of the huckle was finished and pressed the music. I mean, for me, you'd think that he'd be waiting for a if he's unsighted, for example, you'd think he'd be waiting for a, a cue, you know, to sit there and say, right, it's done, go. Um, so it's a, it's a comedy of errors, really. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it was not deliberate. Um, these things do happen. Um, I think everybody who thinks it was deliberate, I think is obviously just not um, paying really attention to what happened. But it's an unfortunate incident. So it hasn't put to bed, hopefully. And again, it won't happen this weekend. But I don't think we must let this take away from what has been such a cool occasion. And uh, it's sad that, you know, referee mo um, sort of mistakes and off the ball stuff's kind of uh, clouding over what is a phenomenal day of, of rugby. So maybe not the best game, you know, maybe a bit scrappy at times, but how close, you know, the two best teams arguably in the world, for example, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, an epic comeback, an incredible atmosphere. All you see in the media saying, it's just incomparable in terms of what you see happening like an Ayers Park compared to what you see in New Zealand. So we need to really appreciate the fact and, and note that there were maybe errors, but um, I think overall, big ups to Ayers Park who, who put on a really, really good event on Saturday. And now we can move on. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.